Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to configure static routing using CLI, a step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, create one topology with two routers, two switches and four pieces. Now, assign the IP address to all the pieces as per the given label. Next task is assign the IP address to the router interface. Now check the interface. So here both the routers are connected with the fast Ethernet 00 interfaces. So same way check the other interface of the router. It is FA01 which is connected with switch. Same way check into the router 1. Now router 1 other interface is FA01 which is connected with the switch. Now click on the router. Go to the config. Click on the fast Ethernet 00. The IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now port status is on. Now click on the fast Ethernet 01. The IP address is 192.168.2.3. Again port status is on. So now same way configure the router 1. Next task is check the connectivity between all the pieces. So take one simple PDU, click on the source and PC1 is the destination. Now you can check here it is successfully transferred. Now again take one simple PDU, PC0 is the source and PC2 is the destination. So it is failed. Now same way take another simple PDU, PC1 is the source and PC3 is the destination. Again it is failed. So now we can say PC0 and PC1 are in the same network and PC2 and PC3 are in the different network. If I want to communicate with the different network pieces, I have to configure a routing. So first of all, what is routing? Routing is a process of selecting a path to transfer the data from source to destination. So there are two types of routing. One is the static and second one is the dynamic. Let's configure static route on both the router using CLI. So first of all static route configure on the router 0. So click on the router 0. Go to the CLI. So first of all enter into the configuration mode. Now I want to configure 3.0 network on router 0 via 1.4 IP address. So let's type the command IP root. Enter the network address 192.168.3.0 Then enter the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Now enter the next hop IP address 192.168.1.4 So press enter. So our static route is configured on the router 0. So exit and save the configuration. So same way, configure on router 1.
So static root is configured on both the routers. Let's check the connectivity between the PC0 and PC2. So I am getting the response from PC2. Same way, check the connectivity between PC1 and PC3. So I am getting the response from PC3. So it means my static routing configuration is worked properly. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel Chirak Balodia. Thank you for watching this video.